Welcome back, everybody, to Gold Rush. I am an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to uh, do a turn-in. Um, I have, if you look in the upper right-hand corner, almost two ounces of gold. In fact, I did have a little over two ounces of gold, but um, when you sleep for the night and the next morning comes, <clears throat> the uh, rent is taken out of your gold, and so uh, we are paying, I think it's 20% of our gold findings you know for renting this land uh so anyway let's uh let me just show you real quick what i did i'm gonna put my headlight on here too so i have dug this much so far which doesn't seem like a lot but man it took a long time <laughs> it took a long time just to dig that much um and i i did two i think two, at least two uh, i can't remember now because I, I did this ye uh, yesterday uh, but i think i did two full sessions you know, of, of full mats there to get that much gold. So um, what we're going to do, and I still have the other gold bar in the back there too. Uh, so what I think we're going to do is we're going to go into the tent here and we're going to look at our thingamadoodle and take a look at the stock prices. So the, as you can see, the stock prices have definitely gone up. Um, so we are now at uh, 1,235 uh, an ounce. So... I think what we're going to do is we can sell from here. So if we go to sell gold bars, the one that's in the back of our car, I'm going to sell that now. And the reason for that is because we're going to need some money in order to smelt the new gold. Um, and I'd rather not sell the ore because we don't get as much money for it. Okay, so let's go ahead and select that, sell it. And that gets us up to $480, which should be enough for us to then go down to the blacksmith and smelt the uh, the new gold into a bar and then sell it at this much better price. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and start up our vehicle here. I'm going to get into this mode and I will see you guys at the blacksmith. Okay, we are here. Uh, so we want to smelt and 1.9 ounces. That's going to cost us 190 bucks. And we're going to, uh, you know, when we can do this, we'll have to upgrade our equipment so that we're not getting so much gold loss. Uh, all right. So, yeah, let's smelt the gold. And we just have to wait. Uh, for the blacksmith to finish doing that. Uh, it shouldn't take too long, so I'll bring you guys back when it's done, and then we'll see how much money we get and go from there. All right, uh, the blacksmith is finished smelting our gold. So there it is, 1.7 ounces. Nice. All right, let's take this thing and put her in the back of the truck here. And head over to the bank and see how much money we can get for this. Let's just park right in the middle of the street since I'm the only one that actually ever seems to drive around here. All right. Sell gold bars. 2,086. There we go. All right. We got 2376 in cash and we are about 10% of the way there. Oh my goodness, this is taking such a long time to do this by hand. Um I wonder if there's anything we probably just don't have enough money to do anything better at this point. Um Let's go back to the guide here. It seemed this uh, tutorial, I like the tutorial in terms of, you know, sh showing you the game, but I think 23000 for tier one is a lot of money. Um, and, you know, we can we can bypass the tutorial anytime we want to. But uh, I think we're going to need a lot more money to get all of this equipment. I'm just trying to think if there's anything we could buy right now that would save us a little bit of time. Um, 
You know, we do have the option of taking a loan also. Let's look at that for a second. Forty-five percent interest? Holy crap. Loan amount twenty four hundred. That interest is insane. These are a number of payments that we would make. And they won't loan us what how come they won't loan us any more than what we have? Uh, just because we have no assets, I guess? Hmm. All right, well, I don't know that that's even worth messing with. Let's, uh, let's just run down to the warehouse really quick. And see what the options are. I don't think I can put another handheld um, sys or manual system on that plot unless I pay for it. But that's not really going to save me any more time because I still have to manually dig all this stuff. So, okay, how much does this thing cost? Yeah, we don't even have enough money to buy the mobile wash plant, let alone anything else. Uh, we could buy the magnetite separator. The wavetable is out of our reach at the moment too. I don't think any of that's going to do us any good. So yeah, I guess I have one of two options. I just keep grinding away at this or we, we skip the tutorial, but I think the thing is, is I think the tutorial is going to require us or not the tutorial, but the game's going to, we're going to need that much money to get all that stuff anyways, which is probably why the tutorial uh, want you to make that much money. Now, you know, I'm just, I'm kind of thinking that thinking out loud here or, or figuring this out. And, you know, we skipped taking the nugget cause the nugget's supposed to kind of give you a boost at the beginning of the game. Um, and so now, <laughs> now I really have to do a whole bunch of work. Um, and I'm trying to decide to be quite frank with you guys i'm trying to decide if it's worth my time in real life to spend that much time doing this without any nuggets um because i wasn't really quite sure what the impact of that was going to be but now now i'm kind of seeing what it is so i mean we could go into settings and go to uh game and we could turn the gold nuggets back on oh Maybe we have to <clears throat> end the tutorial to do that. If we end the tutorial, uh, we get to keep everything we have. It doesn't, like, start us over fresh. I, I tested that. Oh, uh, man, I don't know. I'm not going to make any rash decisions yet. I'm going to just keep working on this um, off camera for a while. And if it just starts to become too tedious... Because, you know, I don't want to spend hours and hours of real life time doing this manual mining. It was it was fun. We got to see how it works, but, <laughs> you know, it's kind of one of those things where you have to balance realism with practicality. Um, actually, we're going the wrong way. Oh, shoot. We just ran into the church. So, yeah, I'll, I'll do it for a little bit longer, and, and I'll just decide if I'm going to grind it out or not, and I will let you guys know what my decision is uh, in a little while. Okay, so I'll see you in a bit. All right, welcome back, guys. We are at the end of this in-game day here, and this is our last uh, pan here. So let's see what we get out of this, and then we'll assess the situation. Shake that around a little bit, rotate it a little bit. I've kind of come to the conclusion that you just shake it until the water turns orange and then that's all you got to do. But I do it a little more anyway, just because it's fun, A, and B, I don't know. You never know. Maybe one more nugget gets squeezed out or something when you do it that way. So we get that going and get that going. And we have one piece right there. 
And I think that's it. Let's put this stuff away. Let's do one last little shake. Uh, this doesn't seem to do anything at all, but I'm probably going to stop doing the, the second dip because I've never really seen it produce anything more. Okay, so if you look in the upper right-hand corner, we have uh, 3.142 ounces of gold. Of course, um, Arnold is going to uh, take 20% of that uh, tomorrow morning for our rental fee. Um, so let's take a look at this here. The stock should still be the same as it was earlier today. 120468. Um I'm not sure when that switch is over because it's uh, 7 50 p.m. right at the moment. So yeah, uh let's take a look and see how things are looking out here. So I've dug that much more now. And you know, and as we get further out this way, it's gonna take even longer and longer because we're gonna to have to haul the dirt all the way over there. So yeah, that's gonna be fun. But anyway, um, I was going to, I mean, we could go to the blacksmith now, I guess. I think he's open 24 seven. Um, but if we sell all of our gold now, I wonder if we go into the negative in the morning for the 20% that we owe. What's his name? That's my guess. Let's just try that. Let's head over, head over to the blacksmith and see. If that is indeed the case. Got lights on here. So yeah, I'll see you guys over there. Okay, let's go ahead and smelt 3.1 ounces. It's going to cost us $312. Smelt the gold. And we will have to wait for him to finish. My game is like really lagging right at the moment, but... I think this is actually one of the story things. Yeah, use. You found a new part of the story. Check at the end of your journal to read more. There's a bunch of these all over the place. Um, there we go. Blacksmith. Something da hoo Grab the hammer and come over here. Coming. Could you hurry? This iron is very hot. Day... Dehiru was the first and only blacksmith's apprentice in the last 10 years. There were many reasons for that. One of them was the fact that the blacksmith was crazy. Secondly, it's not the most profitable business in the area. It's true that you won't ever get out of the job because... <coughs> Excuse me. Um, <laughs> Kazoon type. Because all those gold miners are around, but there is a limit on how much you can charge them for your job. There's no hammer here. Where did you put it, Stephen? It has to be on the forge. Don't mind it. Come over here and put on your gloves. I need your help. Okay. So from what I understand is um, we find these little story notes around and if we read them or read them all or something like that, we get um, we get some discounts in town, which is kind of neat. So, okay, man, I, my frames have just tanked, but for some strange reason, but let's go over here, uh, get our gold. And we have 2.8 ounces, I think. Is that what that says? Yeah, 2.8 ounces. Okay, nice. So let's stick this in the back of our vehicle. Make sure you got back there. Yeah, he's right there. Okay. Let's uh, head on over and sell this and see what we end up with. Okay, so this, that's where the stock price is. I don't think it's flipped over, but I can't remember what it was earlier. But we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and sell because we're trying to grind out to the um, quest. Okay, so that gets us to fifty four seventy. All right, well, <laughs> this is taking a long time. Oh my goodness. Okay. So we are not even a fourth of the way yet to where we need to be to end this tutorial. So 
all right. Well, like I said, I, I'll, I'll, hmm, I don't know. I got to think about this, guys. I do because, like I said earlier, it's a balance between how much time I want to spend in a simulator game of real life versus, um, you know, sticking it out, I guess, and 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 doing this the hard way. But it's got to be fun too. And if it gets a little to be a little too hard, then it's no longer all that fun. So I will think about what I'm gonna do. Um, I wish I could just re-enable the nuggets, because then at least I knew I would have. I know I would have a chance. I wouldn't have disabled that had I known what a grind this was gonna be. Um, but of course, you know, uh, uh, short, short of starting the tutorial all over, which I don't really want to do, uh, that's kind of where we're at with it. So I have some good news. Uh, that is that I was able to uh, go into the settings and turn the nuggets back on. The way I did that is I had to set everything back to the defaults and then go back in and reset. Uh, you know, like the Imperial measurements, the Fahrenheit, that sort of thing. So hopefully what that means now is we'll have a chance of getting a big nugget, which is, you know, in my mind, somewhat realistic, uh, you know, even though ultra rare, of course. Um, and maybe we'll luck out and find a big nugget and be able to uh, progress a little bit faster so I don't have to spend the next 10 years of my life digging this <laughs> digging this little hole over here uh so anyway i'm gonna get busy here and do the the usual thing i am gonna need to go get some more fuel at some point uh but we're gonna get busy with this and if uh you know if we if we run across the nugget i will certainly uh, bring you guys back at that point oh you know what we got a story thing here let's take a look at this okay so this is Found a new part of the story. Check at the end of your journal. Let's take a quick look at this story for this. Let's go back this way. Should be uh, old Arnold par Parcel. There we go. I've just arrived. The neighborhood seems quiet and peaceful. I'm heading to the old Arnold's Parcel to start my gold miner journey. I hope we'll get. I hope we'll get well. Okay. I've never realized how hard that job can be. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> Using machinery is the easy part, but all this cleaning and maintenance is driving me crazy. Yeah, well, all the digging and stuff. So, um, all right. So, yeah, let's uh, let's go ahead and get started here. Like I said, uh, I will bring you guys back with an update and or if we luck out and hit a big nugget. And, uh, I'll, yeah, uh, I'll let you know how things go as the day progresses. So, let's do this. Oh, my goodness. We just found a big nugget. I mean, literally the first shovel. We found a big nugget. It popped up. Is it going to be that easy? I don't know if I want it to be that easy. Maybe we just got exceedingly lucky. Um, okay, well, I guess what we'll do is finish it out, and then I'm assuming that nugget... Oh, no, the nugget's already in our inventory. Look, we already got a half an ounce of nugget right there. Okay, that's cool. It would have been kind of neat if we could have seen it, though, you know, but... If that's the way it works, that's the way it works. Okay, well, back at it. All right, I just found another big nugget. Hmm. I don't know. This This seems a little uh too easy. I guess l let's just keep going and see what happens here. Found another one. Okay. So we're already up to 1.789 ounces of gold just from three big nuggets that we found. That seems a little um, OP. <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm, I'm kind of thinking like it should be somewhere in between these two extremes. Uh, either that or I'm, I'm just really incredibly lucky. Uh, I'll keep going. Oh, no, there it goes again. Wow, that one was almost an entire ounce. Ooh. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> I mean, that's within the realm of possibility, I'm sure, if you, like, hit... Uh, you know, like a mother load or... A, what's called a glory hole and no I'm not talking about that kind you dirty minded people uh, 
But I don't, man, I don't know. That seems a little OP. But you know what we're going to do, though? We're going to run with it, guys, because I, I have no control over that. And this is just going to take way too long if I don't. Yeah, there's another one. Oh, wow, that one was an over and out. Oh, my goodness. Okay. <sighs> I mean, I'm kind of torn. On, on one side, I'm going, yeah, score. The other, I'm going, oh, come on, man. You just went from exceedingly hard to exceedingly easy. But uh, I think I think the alternative is too much. Um, it's too much. It's more than I'm willing to spend, you know, time in real life. Because, guys, it probably would have taken me, I'm guessing, somewhere between six to eight real-time hours of just doing nothing but this to get the 23,000. And at the end of the day, that's just not fun. I, I got other things to do anyway. So we're just going to run with these nuggets. But I am going to put it out there that I think it's a little bit OP. I, I was thinking we might find a, a nugget maybe once per, you know, per, per bucket load, if even that. Uh, not like multiple times per bucket load, but like I said, it's what we—it's the way the game is, and it's better than the alternative. Though I will definitely admit that I think it's a little OP, but let's just run with it and have fun with the game and not worry too much about it. All right, guys, we are back, and this is our last batch of the day. If you look in the upper right-hand corner, you can see I have 32.154 ounces of gold. So with the Nuggets, uh, the first couple of loads, it seemed to be proccing a lot, and then it slowed down, and then I, I saved my game, and then on the very last round that we did, I don't think it procced once, so it's really odd. I don't know if it's supposed to be that way for or if it's a bug, but regardless, you can see that <laughs> 32.1 ounces of gold uh, made a huge difference. So I, I guess the jury's out as far as I'm concerned on how OP that is because it seemed like it was procking way too much at the beginning, but then it didn't proc at all at the end. So um, yeah, we're not really sure, but it made it like you know, like I said, it made a huge difference in the time. Uh, and I think you know because this is a game, it's supposed to be fun, that sort of thing. Um, I, I'm okay with that. It was just, like I said, taking way, way too long. And, you know, if you were, if you're playing this game just to relax, you're not in a hurry, you don't care how quickly you pro, you know, progress, then the other mode is probably fine. But unfortunately, that's not me. I've got other games I got to do on the channel. I got things to do in real life. And so, you know, we had to speed things up a little bit. So, like I said, at first I thought it was maybe a little OP, but then, you know, then it stopped uh, procking later on and I don't know if that's a bug because I saved the game or what but um, nevertheless we we <laughs> we have a lot more gold this time around than we did before we turned the nuggets on so uh, I'm cool with it at this point all right anyway let's uh, go ahead and finish panning uh, our uh, our last batch here and then um, we'll see where we where we're at uh, also had um let's see yesterday i sold all of my or yeah sold all of my gold and didn't have any gold left over so when the morning came um our rent came out of our money instead of our gold so that makes sense uh and that's how that works uh, i'm not sure if that's more efficient or not though because um yeah i don't know if the game makes it you know come out in the wash the same or not but if you guys know in the comments is it better to give the you know give arnold a 20 percent of your gold before you sell it or is it better to sell it and have excuse me have him take i guess 20 percent of your money i'm assuming it's 20 percent or is it doesn't matter maybe it's the same either way and it makes no difference at all not really sure not really sure okay so we're gonna have two more batches of panning to do here i thought about maybe investing early in the wave table because then that would pretty much eliminate all of this panning we have to do but i decided not to do that for a couple reasons i, I just want to hit that money mark on the tutorial and if we start doing that then you know it's going to take that much longer a and b i think this is really about the only time in the game from what i understand that we'll be panning because once we get the machinery then 
and the wavetable in particular, then we won't pan anymore. So um, we'll just we'll just follow the tutorial the way that it's written. Okay, let's do another dip though. I don't think it'll do any good. Yeah, there's nothing in there. Okay. Now there is one situation where I have uh, dipping back in the water has gotten me another nugget or two, but it's it's I don't know if this is a bug or what, but sometimes I can't pick a nugget that's clearly in the pan, and so I have to re-dip it in the water and re-pan, and then I can get it, but but part of the time when I do that, it also produces a, yet another nugget. So I'm not really sure what's up with that, but. Um, that's the only time, though, I've seen more nuggets from, you know, re-dipping the pan in the water in that particular situation. Okay, we got a couple nuggets here. That one's probably a tweezer nugget there. Nice. And a sucker nugget. Tweezer nuggets and sucker nuggets. Okay, that is it. So we'll dump all of this out, put our pan back here. And we are done for the day. We are ending the day with 32.834 ounces. Let's take a look at the market at the moment. So it looks like it's dropped back down to 1208. Okay. So who knows what it's going to do, but I, I think... Uh, I think we're just going to keep selling for now um when we start bringing in more larger quantities it's it's probably going to behoove us to wait to sell but i i just want to get this uh uh this tutorial over with or, or more specifically i want to get into tier two so yeah that's what we're going to do all right guys so let's see here why don't we um why don't we go ahead and sleep what time is it yeah, it's about 7.30 in the evening. No, let's not. Let's let's go let's go on into town and and get uh cash out our gold here. Uh also I'm out of fuel too in my jerry can and my pump, so we've we're bringing the jerry can back into town too so that we can get some more gas while we're there. Okay. I'm having uh, some really bad leg issues again. But let's go ahead and get our uh, smelting going. Wow, look at all that. It's going to cost us almost $2,000 to smelt this, but we should get uh, a nice payday from this one. Okay, and then we just have to wait for the blacksmith to finish. All right, blacksmith is done. Oh my goodness, the game is lagging. 18 ounces. Woo-wee. All right. Let's go take this to the bank to see how much money we make. And I got to remember to uh, get some gasoline, too. Or I guess it's diesel. Okay. Let's see what we get. Sell gold bars. 21,000. Nice. Okay. And that gets us, ladies and gentlemen, to the end of tutorial stage one. We have made $24,000. Now it pops into here and shows us a, a digitube, or a dig tube, rather. Never leave machine store without completing your order. Okay. So the machine store is a different place where we buy the heavy machinery. And that should be coming back up in the next episode. So, gold mining tutorial stage two. Go to the machine store. Beautiful. All right, you guys. Well, I'm going to let you go here. And then uh, in the next episode, we're going to go to the machine store and get into tier two mining. I'm really excited to do that. That means we're going to be able to get ourselves a little excavator and some bigger equipment and start um, bringing in more gold. So, uh, yeah, again, as far as the... The Nuggets goes, again, I thought it was really OP at first, but then it started slowing down uh, and then didn't proc at all the last time around. Not sure what's going on with that. It is still turned on. Uh, so Gold Nuggets are enabled right there. So not sure what the deal is with that, but um, 
you know, we'll just uh, we'll just keep going and hopefully, you know, it it continues to work. Maybe after I restart the game or something, uh, it'll work from there. Or maybe it only works when you're manually digging. I have no idea because how would you know you had a big gold nugget if you're in an excavator and it's down in the bucket? I'm not really sure how that works, but we'll figure it out. Uh, as uh, time goes on. So with that, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share the video. And we will catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.